we had we had two main events that just the height difference didn't end up matter, yeah. mattering that much. Why they made so much? Still no mountain high. The big thing about that, like like I can't get a bigger guy to spar. I can't get a six foot guy to spar. Who said that? That's how they they act. He's just like saying they, in general, like they made it like it was such a big deal. Oh, uh, yeah. You talking about um, height advantages? I mean, yeah. Nakatani, you know, Lomachenko. You'd have, you'd have been in height advantages. It means nothing, right? It's never. No, I'm saying like the training wise, it's never a problem. Yeah. Either get somebody who's a little bit heavier, yeah, yeah. and you do what you got to do. You so know? tallest so, guy you've ever fought, Russell Jordan? Mm, as, a as, a, as a professional, yeah, pretty sure as a professional, I, six, six, six one. Yeah, but I fought six four or six five in Venezuela. Mm. Way Did back you win? in the day. Yeah, man. Uh, there was a hesitation. I thought you were gonna say no comment. Nah, I, <laughs> I stopped him, and back then we were doing the point system. I stopped him with a with a hook, and at the same time I scored the twentieth point. So when you up by. 20 points run. within the first three rounds. They Pass they, the sticks. they automatically stop it. Yeah. Going into the fourth round, once you're up 20, it doesn't matter. But I remember that. That's why I smiled because it was like just one of them, one of the moments. Perfect you know timing. what I mean? Yeah. It was like the hook <laughs> landed. I knocked him out. And if he, even if he had got up, it was 20 points. It was a wrap <laughs> all together, you know? So. Yeah, actually, some similarities in the two main events. I was, well, in that, yeah. Let me go back to that real quick because I, I I like I love telling stories, and I think I told this story before about Terence Crawford was down there in Venezuela too. He's fighting a Venezuelan cat, and he's piecing him up, but they're not giving him his points. Yeah, and this is unfortunately typically something that happens to a lot of American fighters when we're internationally. He knocked dude out and did not get a point. For the punch that he landed, That's funny. that knocked the dude out. So when when you when you say the U.S. is complaining, that, you know we are being fair, all this and that, like that that kind of that stuff would funny. happen like religiously back in the day. And so. knowing him, I'm sure he was not pleased about that oh, no. about about that scoring of that fight. But he was about to fight somebody. Yeah, yeah. 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 It happened. To, it happened to be that guy, unfortunately. Yeah. So um, you feel like yeah. U.S. Uh, the American fighters and the amateurs they get that more than any other fighters in the other countries or. You get that a lot everywhere, though, don't you? Isn't it just kind of if you're outside of the country that that can happen? You mean Amer- Americans? I'm just saying like general, on a, on like, general, right? Like, I mean, like a so, British like it's tough for a Brazilian guy yeah, to get a so decision like, in Japan. Yeah. When or, I tell right, a yeah. story about myself and and, and um, Usyk, Alexander Usyk, yeah. I, I try to tell that story in the, in as detailed as possible because on one side, where I'm saying it was a great uh, competitive fight that I won, and I won by like. Two or three points or something like that. It was a robbery from another the on the on the other side of it. You could be thinking like, well, you know, it was technically in your backyard. It wasn't in yeah. Chicago. You know how fair was it? And so I try to tell it as detailed as possible, so you so everybody knows like it was really it was a fair decision. It just went the way that it went. We have to know? have him on at some point. Yeah, we do. Just to ask, yeah. and I hope he's like, nah, I blew Sean Porter out. Like <laughs> it wasn't even close. They were giving me no points. The dude. But- Usyk, yeah. Oh, yeah, Alexander, yeah. Asked for a rematch. Who, yeah. Who, yeah. <laughs> I think at the time he might have been like 6'1". So. I saw something funny they were like talking about because obviously Usyk will not match up with Joshua with the heavyweights. And they were yeah. like, like, wait, you're trying to tell me somebody who lost to Sean Porter in the amateurs is going to beat Anthony Joshua? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, I don't want to use him as the false equivalency there. But uh, Who was it? Um, it was somebody that used to fight back in the day. And and they said everybody went through him on their way up. I'm trying to think of who it was. I think it was the Jesus 2000. Soto Carras. I think it was the 2000 class. I'm trying to think of who it was, and it was like everybody. For, oh, uh, actually, no, it wasn't the 2000. Oddly class. Harrison. With, no. no, there's a joke that everybody fought Rashi Warren at some point. Right. Because Rashi's always been small, and of course we all got. But at some point, you ran into Rashi. Yeah. You lost, but you kept yeah, going. Kept going. Yeah. yeah, you kept going. Yeah. <laughs> so when you talk about somebody in like in a completely different weight class, he was one of those guys. Yeah. And along the way, you you probably ran into him, and you took very that real quick. Very yeah. accomplished amateur. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy what you saw, because I know you did. What you need to do now, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit that notification button. Check us out every week, every Tuesday, something new for you right here on the Port Away Podcast.